problems and to educate clients on the best solution. By simply choosing the right equipment, I've actually had some of my customers save as much as $1,000 a year on their power bills, while also providing them with cleaner, healthier air. The savings in some cases was enough to pay for the unit. I also have financing options available, all with zero down payment and interest as low as 0%. So the difference with one hour air conditioning and heating is our quality? Before you buy, let One Hour Comfort Advisor give you a no-obligation assessment of your system. Call One Hour at 912-427-7022. Harris Ace Hardware and Building Supplies is the place where you'll find help in every aisle plus great specials. Pennzoil Motor Oil, only $2 a quart after dollar instant savings. Ace Premium Birdseed, buy two bags, get one free. Valspar and Clark and Kensington paint and primer in one. Buy two gallons, get one free. Harris Ace is the place to go to for Yellowwood deck and supplies. From a doghouse to your dream house, Harris Ace is here for you. And they carry Dixie Chopper lawnmowers, the fastest mowers on the planet. Harris Ace Hardware in Jessup, Eulonia, and Hinesville. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher insulation values, thermopane windows, and energy-efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles Bay or Sheridan today. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look at latest in local news. In the news, a reminder that this Saturday, May 13th, area postal workers will be picking up non perishable food items that you can leave at your mailbox Saturday to help us stamp out hunger and help feed needy families. Donations stay in Wayne County community, so everyone's asked to fill up a bag of groceries. Just leave the bag at your mailbox Saturday, and the area letter carriers will pick it up and gather it and distribute it to the area food banks and shelters here in Wayne County. Once again, that's tomorrow, May 13th, here in Wayne County. Tonight at Coastal Pines Technical College, the annual Fellowship of Christians Banquet with special guest speaker Dan Rees, legendary NFL player and coach, former Atlanta Falcons head coach who guided Atlanta to a Super Bowl appearance, also led Denver to a Super Bowl, played in several Super Bowls, as a player with the Dallas Cowboys, tickets still available for tonight's program. The doors open at 6. The program gets underway at 7. For tickets, call Dylan Brown at 294-5362. Wayne County Commissioners and Republic Services continue to meet and have negotiations and discussions regarding the future of the landfill. Controversial issue over the past two years is coal ash. Republic has promised that no coal ash will be put into the landfill during the year 2017. The County Commission Chairman Mike Roberts stated this past Thursday at the County Commissioner's meeting that he in the county would like to have an agreement that coal ash is never brought into the landfill, that it's a permanently banned substance. No official proposal or agreement has been reached, but Roberts says that for him, that's the goal when he had these comments to close out last Thursday's County Commissioner's meeting. At this point, we do not have a written proposal. However, they have indicated a willingness to make coal ash a permanently banned substance from the landfill. We are going to have our attorneys discuss this proposal and hopefully have an update for the June meeting. And I wanted to add something that, you know, Andy will probably fuss at me, so you need to say as little as you can about it. I mean, we're going to get a, you know, we're going to get a written proposal from them, but, you know, I, I, I asked, I've been asking some things from them, and the one thing I asked was a permanently banned on coal ash from the landfill. I've asked them that 150 times or more. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if what they want in return is too much. I do know, and please don't take this wrong, I do know that we as elected county officials don't enjoy anybody trying to tell us how to run the county because we think we can run it. We listen to you, but we don't think you should tell us how to run it. So in the same words, I will not engage in trying to tell the city what they should do in a situation like this. They'll look at it, they'll decide this is good for the city or it's not, we don't want to, we do want to, and I will respect that and not try to do anything to hurt our city. We've worked together good, we've been together good, I'm not opposed to walking through up to Republic and saying, Mr. Eisenhower, appreciate the proposal. I'd like to see that happen, but we're not all together on it, and that's not what we want. What we want to do, we're done with it. When we 
done the best we can. We're doing the best we can. I hope maybe when this proposal comes back and he puts it in people's hands, I, I, I sure again yesterday that they'll get a copy of it. We'll put it into open records. Everybody can scrutinize it and look at it and <clears throat> spit on what they want to do. And we'll see if it'll work for the Wayne County citizens. If it don't, then we'll, we'll just have to continue on like we're going to do the best we can. If it will work and we all agree to it and we're all happy with it, but I promise you, me, myself, I'm speaking myself, I will not try to impose what I want on anybody. I, Mike, Bill, and I are, are best friends. Our kids grew up together. If Mike looks me in the eye and says, Mike, this ain't a good thing for us, I'll just say, fine, we need to move on. That's not, well, that's not my idea. So, city, you can rest assured we're not going to try to make somebody do something. And again, those comments of Mike Roberts, the chairman of the county commissioners to the last county commissioners meeting. Republicans indicated they want to revisit the rail spur issue at the landfill in order to bring their garbage in by train rather than by truck, which would mean more revenue for them, more revenue for the county. Again, WIFO film will continue to follow the story as it develops. And we'll be back with more news after these commercial messages, so please stay tuned. It's a new and better way to buy. It's live market pricing at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC on East Cherry Street. We constantly monitor auto websites to offer the most aggressive market prices. The low market price is our live market price. That's why we're the home of the no-hassle deal. Save time, save money, and know for sure that Neesmith's live market prices are the lowest possible price that we can offer. Neesmith Chevrolet. Chevy, find new roads. Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. They offer same-day appointments and walk-ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workman's comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk in to Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years, Feel better today. Seasons change. Quality of service does it. For 75 years, First Franklin Financial has been serving the financial needs of your friends and neighbors. You can always depend on the caring staff to be there when you need them. Drop by and see your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street or give them a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1ffc.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. This coming Wednesday on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show, Ed Jeffers will join us to discuss the proposed project to J.C. Landing. Sir Carl Vincent Institute of Georgia has put together a vision and a plan to improve the landing and build a welcome center and a community education center. Thank you, Mr. Great Treasurer. The Altamont River here in Wayne County enhanced landing with increased parking, a gas pump, a snack shop, just to name a few. For more on the project, here's Lindsay Thomas, who's at Wednesday's joint meeting of the City of Jessup Commission, the Wayne County Commission, and the Tourism Board. I think we've got it to the, to the place now to where we can make that serious decision. It's going to depend on the county's leadership and the people of the county. Uh, you have to get it framed. You have to understand what a resource it is and how it can be utilized. Uh, and, and, and where we go from here. So I think that's where we are. Now, all of the stuff that's been done by the committee and the Carl Benson Institute up to now tells us of broad, broad public support for the, for the effort. Uh, it, it, it's not in the final, it's gonna be exactly this or exactly that, but we know we've got this incredible resource and we have access here with the J.C. Landing Bob that nobody else up and down this river has. We've got a high bluff, we've got 25 acres of land, we've got the crossroads of two federal highways. And there is a growing interest nationwide in the natural places. That's what ecotourism is all about. It's not about building something like Disneyland or Six Flags. You take the natural resource that is as unique as this is and you make it accessible you would interpret it, you educate people about it. 
So there's great opportunities here, of course, to come and hunt and fish and bird watch and all of that. And while you're here, you learn about the value of a river system like the Alta Mahal is. Probably the largest drainage system of any river in Georgia, for sure. Quarter of the state's drainage system comes here. Influences the coast. Confluence of rivers coming out of the mountains. And we're sitting here halfway. So I think it's the opportunity is great. It will take some work. It will take some investment. Uh, but we've got, a, we've got a crown jewel right here. And, and I'm hoping we've got it at the stage now to where we can finally decide, OK, here's how we move forward. As you mentioned, foundations like to donate to things like this. You said you would take this to this project to some foundations that would possibly fund it. But you said the key would be for it to stay as a local project, not to let anybody from the outside take over. That's what I don't. This is this is Wayne. This is the landing is Wayne County property. Uh, we're the stewards of that river. I, I don't want to see us lose the vision that comes from the people who love the river who've been involved in it all of their life, who've got a vested interest from one end to the other, hunters, fishermen, boaters, kayakers, bird watchers, swimmers, you name it. I don't want to see us lose that vision that we are a, a responsible group of leaders in this county working together to take a resource here and to steward it so that they all can see, and here's one of the great benefits, that this county stands for what's right and good and has great leadership to make things happen. That's why I don't want to see us lose it. We've been in politics a long time. As you mentioned to me today, there are going to be some naysayers say just leave it alone. So how do you get those people on board and how do you fight that? Well, we found that they're a real minority, the ones that say leave it. But, but when you say leave the river alone, that's not going to happen, Bob. Uh, a river is not a river from bank to bank. Uh, it is a confluence of its feeder streams and its reaches, as we referred to them in the wetland system. And all of the growth and activity in our area, clearing of lands to go to agricultural purposes, more groundwater being taken up, uh, all of the development, is, uh, the, the state's population doubling in the next 25, 20, 25 years, all of this is going to put pressure on this resource. It is not going to stay as it is without good stewards. And that's what we're talking about. We're not changing the river, not going to change the Sand Hill environment. We're not going to change the bluffs and the reaches of this river. We're simply going to educate people about them so that we have a constituency for the future that continues to see that it is properly managed. Okay, Lindsay Thomas. Sure, Bob. Thank you. And once again, those comments, Lindsay Thomas and Ed Joseph join us Wednesday on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show for more on the project. Hundreds were participated in the, the Wayne County Relay for Life set for next Friday at J.C. Stadium. Again, at 6 p.m. next Friday, the opening ceremony. Other events throughout the evening will include the Survivor's Lab, the Caregiver's Lab, Luminary ceremony again. It all takes place on Friday, May 19th at J.C. Stadium. For more information on the Wayne County's American Cancer Society's Relay for Life, contact Robin Peoples at 912-764-2979. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor or other commercial messages. So please stay tuned. It's a new and better way to buy. It's live market pricing at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC on East Cherry Street. We constantly monitor auto websites to offer the most aggressive market prices. The low market price is our live market price. That's why we're the home of the no-hassle deal. Save time, save money, and know for sure that Neesmith's live market prices are the lowest possible price that we can offer. Neesmith Chevrolet. Chevy, find new roads. Fresh meats, the best meats, affordable meats. That's what you'll get when you buy your meats at your Jessup Piggly Wiggly. Super specials right now at Piggly Wiggly include smoked ham halves, only 88 cents a pound. Boneless pork loin, $1.38 a pound. Fresh Claxton chicken drumsticks or thighs, only 88 cents a pound. Pork spare ribs, $1.88 a pound. And whole bone-in pork loin, $1.78 a pound. These and many more meat specials are found at your Jessa Piggly Wiggly. Also on sale at Piggly Wiggly, Coca-Cola soft drinks. All flavors get three two-liter bottles for only $5. Red ripe strawberries get two one-pound containers for only $5. Pet ice cream, get two large containers for just $6. And in the deli bakery, whole rotisserie chicken, only $4.88, and fresh homemade banana pudding, $2.88 a pound. Shop your hometown supermarket, Piggly Wiggly on West Cherry Street in Jessup, open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Do you have a dirty car or boat? Does your vehicle, home, or business need window tint? Are you wanting accessories for your vehicle? 
Dee's Auto Spa is the solution you've been looking for. We are your one-stop shop in Jessup on Cherry Street. We offer pickup and delivery services. Give us a call right now at 912-424-0680 or send us a message on Facebook and find out more about the services and accessories we provide at the quality you deserve. Final notes and news, couple meetings set for Monday. The Wayne County Solid Waste Authority will meet Monday night, 6 p.m. at the County Commissioner's Meeting Room. Again, everyone is invited to attend. Also, the Wayne County Retired Educators meet Monday, May 15th at 10.30 a.m. at Western Sizzlin. They say scholarship winners will be announced at that meeting, as well as reports from the 2017 Convention and Local Committees. Officers for the 2017-2018 year will be installed. They say it's the last meeting of this year, 2016-2017. Meetings will resume in September. Again, all retired educators invited on Monday, May 15th at 10.30 at Western Sizzlin. Also, don't forget the catfish tournament dates have, are set for the first weekend in June, June 3rd and 4th. Sign-ups are underway. The tournament will begin that Saturday at 12 noon, continue until Sunday at 2 p.m. This year's tournament offers anglers the opportunity to win up to $7,500 in payout. Prizes are based on the number of entries at the event. Weigh-in and tournament headquarters will once again be at J.C. Fairgrounds at J.C. Landing. Those fishing the event can put in anywhere on the Altamar River, but they will line at weigh-in at J.C. Fairgrounds by that Sunday at 2 p.m. Entry fee for the event, $100 per fisherman with a minimum of at least two fishing in a boat. Big fish pot entry is $10 per fisherman. Registration can be done online at active.com or it can be dropped off at the Tourism Board's office at the train depot. Also, if you need more information, call the Tourism Board office at 427-3233. Once again, the Wayne County Catfish Tournament set for the weekend of June 3rd and 4th. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day. It's a new and better way to buy. It's live market pricing at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC on East Cherry Street. We constantly monitor auto websites to offer the most aggressive market prices. The low market price is our live market price. That's why we're the home of the no-hassle deal. Save time, save money, and know for sure that Neesmith's live market prices are the lowest possible price that we can offer. Neesmith Chevrolet. Chevy, find new roads. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. At the Women's Health Center, Dr.